Froggy Fritz. Morning. How's it going? Good. Uh, you're open now, right? Okay, cool. Hey, hi. Sorry. Hi. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Excited. Come on, let's go. Hi. Come on. Yeah, I've been trying to get it as fast as possible. I kind of got a late start, so. Oh, uh, cool. I haven't got any prices on anything yet, so just take a look around. Okay. If you see anything, just awesome. let me know. Also, I got some water and energy drinks over here. Oh, awesome. Grab one if you want. Sweet, man. Some donuts, too, if you want some. Thanks, man. Yeah. Very cool. Are gonna be two dollars, okay. Um, if they're in like really rough shape, uh, just like a dollar, right on. Uh, oh, these games, uh, I had like I know the punch out, I'm probably gonna do 10 on that, and then the rest of them four or five bucks, okay. Cool, so. I like it. Hey, come on, yeah, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be <laughs> This one right here, I got 25 on. Okay. It comes with the figures. Like around 25. Okay. Is it complete in there? Oh, yeah. You Is can it? Open up if you want. It comes with the two figures. Oh, yeah. It still has. Oh, cool. All that stuff in there. So. I like it. It's just the box is a little little rough on the outside but no, that's cool though other than that sweet so, i've seen you on your channel before uh -huh. and i heard that you were based at indy oh yeah yeah so it wasn't I was like, far at all well, i wanted to get this and I, I i knew that so i was like well, i'm just gonna send you a message and i mean i saw the pictures i'm i'm kind of shocked that you're not mobbed right now like i don't know maybe it's because it's not saturday but yeah i well i work i i, I work uh in a restaurant oh yeah so I can't really. Weekends for me is like, no. I'm gonna do one too. I'm, like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Oh nice. Just, I mean, I want to give up weekends to. Yeah, I just can't do my own. I can't like weekends for me is just it's always so busy and I can't really get anything accomplished. Yeah, or... I feel you. And plus the rain, you know, it kept going back and forth. I know it's supposed to like rain all weekend. It, yeah, it didn't it rain just... once. <laughs> oh, this is cool so too. I this is gonna be the best day. Yeah. on that if you want it. Okay. Uh, posters. Uh, there's one that there's one that has a double sided. Uh huh. Um, like three bucks a piece on those. Okay. One well, one of them is good shape. The other ones are are not. I think that one has a lawn lawnmower man on the back. Oh, does it? Oh. So we're gonna do maybe for both of those five. Okay. All right, let's get a little power right here then. That's cool. And the 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 ones that are sealed. Mm -hmm. Are they resealed? Those are resealed. Now there is a couple in here that are original sealed. Uh huh. Those are these right here are original. Okay, original yeah, sealed. with the watermarks. That's yeah, a lot of copies of Moonwalker. <laughs> I know. If you want to move cool, on, you can have for a dollar. <laughs> and I got some boxes back here if you need boxes. Okay, cool. Two, three. Two, I'm not really sure if that stuff works. Yeah. So if that, since that's the case, I'm, it probably should. I'm not sure. Mm. We can make a deal on it. Though. Okay. Just because I don't know if it it works. I'm not gonna try to charge money for something. Yeah. Like that. 
Same with that, you don't know if that works. It did at one point. Yeah. I'll give it to you for two bucks. Deal. Let's see. It's funny, this guy's always naked when I find him. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever found him with the clothes before. I'm trying to make better choices nowadays, like, is it actually something I'll get to, too? I mean, that's like the hardest thing. You just want to buy everything all the time. Yeah, I, I was just kind of, you know, I just like to buy stuff that I like, kind of. That's too. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. Yeah, I don't, you know, like shoes, I don't, I don't mess with. Clothes, I don't mess with. Mm -hmm. Electronics, I don't like to mess with. She's like toys and books or right. VHS, you know, that. Stuff when I grew up as a kid. That's why I kind of like wanted to do the 90s kid stuff. Right. I just want to play this. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Yep. Alright, here's the pile I think I can get around to. Okay. I think we talked about price on most of it except for like the ALF yeah. comics and stuff. What would you take on the ALF? I don't know. It's got number price. Let me see. I'm thinking, I, I probably about for me probably like two or three bucks a comic. Okay. So I would do like let's say twelve would be. We'll do twelve on it or. Yeah, it's fine because I think ultimately one's probably worth that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's just cool to have a, a few more. Come here. <laughs> so we said five on the poster. That twelve. We'll say 10 on this stack right here. Sure, that's fine. We're about five a piece on that. Sure. Okay. Say two on this? Yeah. And this, I'll throw the muscle man in with oh. you. 25 on this? Yep. Got about, got about 78, 75. Deal. I like it. Thanks, man. <laughs> It'll work. We'll do that. 75, right? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Right, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like I said, I'll keep, uh, keep watching your videos on there and you always find some cool, cool stuff. I, I try to, man. find some of that stuff, though. <laughs> well, like, like this. I, I, lu I lucked out on the videos and stuff like that. I went to a garage sale. It was right around the corner here. Uh -huh. They were selling some VHSs and they were kind of old. And I was like, oh, you know, I like VHSs sure. or whatever. And there was a little old lady in there and she said, well, if you like VHSs, I got a whole store next door. And I said, what do you mean you got a whole store next door? She's like, I got a, we used to have a video store. Uh -huh. She goes over and turns on the lights and it's like a time capsule. Everybody That's awesome. There. She said, this is my husband's and he died last year, but we closed down like 20 years ago. Wow, it it's just, just been sitting there. It's just been sitting, dust and yeah, you know, just dust collecting and like on racks and stuff yeah. too. Like yeah, they wow. had like they had condensed all. The, they still had the racks up. And yeah, they condensed it all to like three racks. She wanted to sell me the whole store for like 120 bucks. <laughs> but I was, or like the whole about the store itself. But yeah, like all the inventory. It. You know, I would love to. It's a lot of room. I, I mean, yeah, I, I it means like know. someone got a steal on it. Then that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, awesome, so. man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I appreciate the heads up. Glad you find some. <laughs> I hope more people come out because I, I really want to see I'm, some of this stuff. And... I'm shocked that I got through this long with, uh, you know, no one else dropping by. I, just, like, I feel like I'm, I'm I mean, I seek out those kind of ads, so yeah, I don't, I, know. I don't know. All right, buddy, take care. Thank you. All right, we are back here in the garage. So a viewer named Cody was gracious enough to send me a link to the yard sale he was having. It was taking place on Sunday at 10 a.m., so it was a bit outside of my normal yard sailing times. But I checked out the pictures and it looked really fun, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I did not go early. The ad was posted on Facebook like five days prior to the sale. In fact, I didn't even pull up till 10.02 because I didn't want to appear to be early birding and I wanted to give everyone a shot. And I'll tell you, people might have slept on some pretty cool deals. I didn't buy a ton. I didn't spend a ton. I spent $75 on everything, but I thought this was such a fun little haul and such a solid deal, it might make a fun 
little video. So real quick, let's take a look at what I picked up. We'll start over here. I got this cool uh, Stephen King Dead Zone poster. I'll pretty much pick up anything Stephen King for any reason. I love posters, so that was a no-brainer. And as an added bonus, the other side has a cool Lawnmower Man poster on it. I'd say that the Lawnmower Man poster is in a little bit better shape than the Dead Zone poster, but they're both really cool. The same with the uh, framed Terminator 2 poster. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely in my top, I'd say, 20, maybe top 10. So I thought that was pretty cool. Picked up the vintage Kenner Ecto-3. The box has a little bit of wear to it, like this old tape that was on it, uh, but really not that bad, all things considered. The contents are still sealed inside, so it's pretty much new open box. I think at the end of the day, that's probably a $40 to $50 piece with the box the way it is. Then we have the 1976 Rimco Ronald McDonald with the uh, moving head. I have found quite a few of these over the years, but they're almost always without the clothes, and they're always in really bad shape. This one's actually pretty nice. I think it should probably bring in about 15 to 20 bucks. We have a Corn Follow the Leader cassette tape. This one was a little surprising. It's kind of sought after, and it actually brings in about 25 to 30 bucks on its own. Then we have the original Game Boy model DMG01. This will probably be for parts. I doubt it works, but still for parts, even without this screen part, they tend to sell for over 20 bucks sometimes closer to like 35 or 40 bucks we have the copy of zelda for gay boy in very nice shape with a good label it's in this plastic case here but these actually bring in cartridge only around 35 to 40 bucks the n64 south park game from 1998 cartridge only brings in about 25 to 30 sonic and knuckles for sega genesis i've sold a few of these recently and they normally bring in about 35 to 40 bucks believe it or not this is one of the things I saw in the ad uh, that I was hoping would still be there by the time I got there, and it was. It's Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES. It's cartridge only. I loved this game as a kid. It's been years since I played it, but I was actually pretty good at it, so I was happy to finally get a copy. A while back, I did pick up a copy of the manual, which has quite a bit of value on its own, but it, it'll make this even more valuable. This by itself tends to sell for about 35 to 40 bucks, since I now have this and the manual. Maybe I'll find the, uh, the box somewhere, and I think it's a letter that came with it, but maybe not. Still a very good deal. And then the rest of this stuff should be able to get a couple bucks a piece out of them, like the Duran Duran VHS, the Animaniacs for Sega Genesis, the Little Muscle Man. I bought Tetris just to play. Bo Jackson's baseball is worth a few bucks. Same with the Billy Idol cassette. And then I did want the stack of ALF comics because it had ALF number one. There's a much more valuable issue of ALF out there. It has a recalled cover, so you would know it when you saw it. But still, picking up issue number one was pretty cool. So that is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya! Bye. When they hear that cha-ching And they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm Buying this crap